Let's look at question five. The pie chart on an extra C. So as soon as you see that, you could find an extra C. Here's an extra C. We're going to be working with this. Show the Indian Union budgets for income and expenditure for 2023 slash 2024. And the reason that's like that is that it's done along the same um, lines as tax, right? Because obviously income is tax based. And so they do the budget that way as well. Some values have been omitted. Okay, whenever we see omitted stuff, we know that we're going to have to calculate it ourselves. But let's keep going. The currency used in India is rupee. India also has different denominations for larger currency amounts. So 100,000 rupees gives me one lakh. And then 100 lakh gives me one crore. I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but that's what it's saying there. Okay, so use Annex to see and information about the answer to answer the questions that follow. 5.1.1. Choose the correct word from um, those given in brackets. Write down only the word next to your question number. Okay, so a budget is something. Um, the budget is a something budget when the income is less than the expenditure. Okay, so when the income is less than the expenditure, is going to be a loss. Another word for loss is deficit. Okay, so the answer is there. Question. 5, 5.1.1, deficit. Okay. Let's look here. General sales tax, GST, is a tax that is similar to that in South Africa. Calculate the missing percentage for GST on the pie chart. Okay, so let's just look at the pie chart. So you see the pie chart here for income. We have all of these here. And then we're missing this percentage here. Now, remember, a pie chart has to add up to 100%. So in order to get GST, you just say 100% minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 percentages. So you minus, subtract all of those off. And whatever's left would be my GST. So we just say 100 minus 7 minus 4 minus 15 minus 15 minus 34 minus 2 minus 6. I got those all from here. 7, 4, 15, 15, 34, 2, and 6 that into your calculator you don't have to put the percentages into the calculation there you can just do it at the end so 100 minus 7 minus 4 minus 15 minus 15 minus 34 minus 2 minus 6 and it gives me 17 right so but it's not 17 anything it's just 17 percent right so gst my general sales tax is 17 percent and we're done okay so you see a lot of this comes down to understanding what is the actual nature of a pie chart. Calculate in lakh crore um, the amount spent on defense in India. Okay, so defense is an expenditure. So remember here we have two things. Here's income, it says income, and then we have expenditure over here. So we're going to look over here. Defense it says is 8%. So we're going to say 8% times by our total expenditure. So we're going to say 45, 03. Okay, that's my luck, that's in luck crore times 8%. I'm going to pop that in my trusted calculator. Make sure you're putting it in correctly. 8%. And it is 3,6024 luck crore. Okay, so don't forget to put in your amount. You could be saying, oh, Margie, why couldn't I just round that off, right, to two decimal places? Now, remember, if we look over here, that my luck and my crore are actually much bigger rupee denominations, right? So it's not that these are cents, right? It's not that these are cents here. These are actually parts of the number. So please leave it as is. Don't round it off. It's not cents, okay? Let's look at the next question. Calculate or list. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. We're over here. List three sources of income shown on the pie chart with a total percentage pinch percentages add up to the borrowing percentage value. Okay, so let's just see what's going on. So it did say income. So we're looking over here, right? This is the one we're looking at. So it's saying, which of these, three of these ones, add up to this 34%, okay? Now, you naturally should start with the bigger percentages. So I'm thinking maybe this one and this one. So that's 15 plus 15, that's only 30. But we need to get to 34. Well, here's conveniently a four. So the corporation tax, income tax, and customs, they add up to borrowings. 
Okay, now you could try other combinations, but you'll see that nothing will get you exactly to 34. And with a question like this, always start with the biggest ones because we're trying to add up to quite a large percentage. Okay, so we're just going to say, it didn't ask for the percentages, it just asked for the um, sources. So we're going to say corporate tax, income tax, and customs. And that's our three, right? Let's just make sure we answered the question. There's three sources of income shown on the pie chart where the total percentages add up to the borrowing percentage, right? And you can even, if you want, put this in here so that your marker sees you know what's going on. Let's move on to the last question for this video. It is a six marks question, so we're going to have to kind of apply ourselves a little bit more. Sanji calculated in La Croix the amount spent on interest payments. He rounded off his answer to the nearest whole number, so not even two decimal places, whole number. Sanji stated that the rounded answer he calculated did not make much difference in the rupees when compared to the non-rounded answer. Verify showing your calculations whether his statement is valid. Okay, so first of all, we have to, before we do anything with rounding, etc., we actually have to find the amount spent on interest payments, right? So we have to start with that. So... Let's go over here. It says interest payments is 20%. So it's 20% of that amount. So let's do that first. So we're going to say start with 20% times by 4503. That's in luck crore, right? So we're going to say 20% times 45, 03. Just make sure that you type that in correctly. My answer there is 9,006 lakh crores. Okay, but we're not done now. Because remember the question is basically saying it doesn't make much difference in rupees. So we actually have to convert that into rupees. Okay, so let's convert our answer here into rupees. Okay, well, 9,006 lakh crores. So if we just want to move put the crores back into luck right so we have to get we want to get rid of this basically from there to there you have to times by 100 right because it's saying that one crore is a 100 lux so we want to get rid of that we times it by 100 okay so we we're going to say 9,006 we're going to times by 100 don't put an equal sign in there because obviously well actually it, it is actually fine. You can put that in because it's still the same number. You'll just have to see how we do it differently over here. So it's going to give me, that's going to be in luck because now we've got rid of the crore. So 900,6 luck. Okay, but it's still not in rupees. We need to put it into rupees. Well, how many rupees are in one luck? Well, it's 100,000. So now we actually have to times this by hundred thousand to get it into rupees okay so do you see how we're doing all these conversions and that would then be in rupees okay let's time this by hundred thousand make sure you get the right number of zeros in there make sure nine zero zero six one two three four sorry rupees Okay, so that's the answer actually in rupees. What this gentleman, Sanji, wanted to do is he wanted to round off, right, when it was in lakh crores. So it said there, Sanji stated the rounded answer he calculated did not make much difference because he rounded off his answer in lakh crores. Now, if you round that off in lakh crores, if we just round this off, right, we say we want to round it to the nearest whole number, do you agree with me that it would just be this? Because that's rounded off, right? Because look at the zero there. Just round it down, so it's going to be 9. Now, in order to get this into rupees, we have to times it by 100. And then times it by 100,000 to get it into rupees. Exactly what we did over there. So, 9 times 100. Let me just show you what I'm doing. Times 100,000 is going to give me 9 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, one, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Right? So that's that. So that's what his rounded version was. So this is the rounded one. 
rounded. I'm just going to say here, rupees. So now we have to compare these two to each other. So in order to do that, we say that number minus that number, right? And what you'll see, right, is you'll see the difference. 9006, zero, zero, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 9, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And the difference is 60,000 rupees. Okay, so what that means is it means that in rounding off his answer in Lak Kroosh, he got rid of 60,000 rupees, right? So his whole um, point was that it doesn't, it does not make much of a difference. Well, he's wrong, right? 60,000 is a lot. So you say, therefore, Sanji is wrong, right? Because he didn't understand that when you have luck cross here, these are not just decimals, right? They actually refer to rupees, like we showed over here. It's a lot of rupees, and he just got rid of 60,000 rupees and was rounding off, and you can't do that, right? Therefore, he is wrong. Okay, these sort of questions are a little bit more complicated, but you have to just work very methodically. Say, okay, how do I go from luck cross to luck? How do I go from luck to rupees? And just work methodically like that. Okay. Let's do the last couple of questions here.